I really want you to commit the defender here, yeah? Big, strong, really commit that defender, tough. Yeah. This is That's Ben it, Cohen, go. a member of England's World Cup winning rugby union side in 2003. It was phenomenal. It was fantastic. It was, um, it was a hell of an atmosphere. And um, when, uh, when we'd gone into extra time and finally won the game, it was, it was something that um, you just can't, you can't describe. No one, no one sort of teaches you how to sort of celebrate when you win, except for, <laughs> you know, it, uh, it was fantastic. After a million cheering fans welcomed the team home, he was made a member of the Order of the British Empire, an honour bestowed on him by Queen Elizabeth. I had a bit of a moment when I met the Queen. I, I, you meant to sort of bow and you sort of meant to walk down this line, you turn, you bow and she come, calls you forward. <laughs> I was so nervous. I walked down, turned and, and just carried on walking. And then I realised, oh, I've got to bow, I've got to bow. Oh, I've got to so anyway, I was already out of the time, I'd messed up and she just laughing. Having just been voted Player of the Year for the Sale Sharks, the 32-year-old sporting future seemed extremely bright until he abruptly retired from rugby this month, saying the time was right for a new challenge. It's sort of been uh, on the back burner for about seven years and it's something that uh, I'm going to put all my time into now. So what's the new challenge? Managing, coaching? Well, actually neither. Instead, Ben is fully focused on his stand-up foundation to combat homophobia and bullying. And that's why he's here in Atlanta just a few weeks after hanging up his boots. I don't like bullies. I don't like, uh, I don't like people getting treated unfairly. The reason why I got into, into this foundation, the reason why I want to eradicate homophobia in sport and bullying in general, is because I have a, a quite a, a huge following. And with that, it comes a responsibility and it's something that I could be in a privileged position to, um, to, to do something about it. And uh, a lot of people tell me their stories about, about being bullied to the point of near suicide and some of their friends have been bullied to the point of, of, uh, of actually killing themselves. The cause is close to Ben's heart because in October 2000, his father Peter was severely beaten at his own nightclub in Northampton, England. A month later, he died of his injuries. It's something that I'm very passionate about, and you know, being a being a family man and and, and having uh, some personal tragedy with my dad being being killed and, and stuff, and and also in bullying in general and the everlasting effects it has on people. And now Ben is using his star status to get his message across to students and adults alike. Um, have any of you guys witnessed bullying? Yeah. Do you do anything about it? Do you stand up and say that's wrong? Yes, sir. Do you, Dom? You always got it. You always talking. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you think it's wrong? Yes. Do you think that it'd have a um, uh, everlasting effect on these people who get bullied? Yes. Yes. Sport should be welcome to anyone who's good at it, whether they're perceived as different or not. If you're good at your sport, that should do with the talking. Ben's extraordinary success certainly speaks for itself, with 31 tries in 57 tests for England. But his own difference makes his message even clearer. Ben, I wanted to ask you about your deafness, because that's amazing that your rugby player, it's very communicative. You'd think you have to talk to each other on the field. How did you cope with that? Um, lip reading. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I became very good at... Um, that lip reading and, and looking out my peripheral vision at someone's mouth and it has been difficult but you know, I'm not going to let it stop me doing what I need to do. I've missed some you know, major parts of the game where I just haven't quite got the call and, and it doesn't happen very often but uh, you know, we'll say did you get the call and I was like didn't hear, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ben Cohen, MBE and rugby champion, uh, no, now a champion for difference and acceptance oh, on and off the field. <laughs> Candy Reid, CNN, Atlanta.